everybody. Welcome back. Um, it is four days until Christmas and I just finished my four mile walk. Um, I don't usually do any vlogging over the weekends because it's just not easy to do. Um, so today being Monday um, and I have time by myself, then I thought I would pick back up. So um, let's see today's agenda. What is today's agenda? I have no idea. I haven't really thought about my day. The kids are out of school, so it's just kind of a moment by moment. I did clean on my room yesterday. Um, I still have a section left to do, which of course is the most difficult section because it's full of things that I don't know what to do with. It's got electrical cords, like to computers and um, chargers, and I don't know. I've got to figure out what to do with all that. Um, and then I've got like uh, cake baking books and it's just going to take some organization and that also takes time so um, our house wasn't really built for storage uh, so it makes putting things away kind of difficult and a lot of stuff I just need to get rid of um, so maybe I will do that and make a drop off um, at the Goodwill or something on my way to work uh, in a couple of days. But anyway, um, how is everybody doing? How was y'all's weekend? Um, I know everybody's got to be getting ready for Christmas. I'm so excited. I'm like a big kid whenever it comes to Christmas. We've got everything decorated. Um, still need to pick up a few like things to bake some cookies and stuff like that but um for the most part we're good I need to look you know what I probably actually have everything to bake cookies with now that I think about it at least make chocolate chip cookies um we have to make those every year anyway for Santa and our house it seems to be Santa's favorite cookie so what is Santa's favorite cookie at your house that's, leave a comment down below. Let me know what the, your family's favorite cookie is to leave for Santa. Um, let's see. What do I need to do today? We still have our Christmas get-together. It's been going really well. My parents have been coming over every night um, to do our 12 days of Christmas. And... Mister, it's about to back out in front of me. Um, let's see. This is where I wish I had some editing to videos that I could do. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. I wonder if it'll let me edit and then just save it and then send it out. Because I really need to edit these videos. They're just too long, full of the us and the I don't knows funny because whenever I'm walking my you know my brain's going I need to do nothing but then whenever it comes time to try to film any of my thoughts nothing comes to mind road work they're supposedly put in um, city sewage through here won't affect where I live but um, looks like they're gonna run it so, my hubby went hunting over the weekend and sadly did not shoot anything. So, my freezer's still going to be empty. Sad, we haven't had a deer in years. But, it's okay. We can do strategic meal planning. That's another thing I need to plan. I need to do my planner today. Get it all fixed up for next week. Um, I've got to... Yeah, i got to get back on track. i got to get my budget back on track. I've got to get my meal planning done. I need to do a grocery haul before long. 
Right now, like I said, we've just been kind of eating off of what we have. Oh, you know what? I've got chicken in the refrigerator, in the freezer. I need to take out and let that thaw. I don't need to do that. Um, do y'all stress over the holidays, like over the Christmas holidays? To me, Christmas is the least stressful holiday. Like, we don't, like, none of the family buys for, like, extended family. Um, we'll have, like, a family get-together where we all eat and just, you know, hang out and talk and what have you. But as far as, like, cooking this huge meal or um, having to buy for everybody, like, we don't do all of that for Christmas because... We do a huge meal at Thanksgiving, and that is something that we all look forward to each year. Um, but like Christmas is just simple. We keep it basic. Um, normally we do steak, salad, baked potato. This year, steaks are so high, so we're doing a ham, and um, I think we'll do like mashed potatoes and gravy and some other little side dish and probably some garlic bread or something. But um, you know, but nobody has to spend all day in the kitchen. Um, it's just a nice, relaxing day. And I try to make, like, cupcakes or some kind of little cake or something for Jesus' birthday. And do a little, you know, just so that the kids also don't forget. You know, Christmas is not about getting gifts or what have you. And... It's just, I don't know, I just, I, I guess it's one of my most favorite holidays. Um, and that being said, my, my youngest daughter, she just turned eight in October. And she is the most thoughtful, most giving child. And she got money for her birthday. And she let me know that that was her birthday money and that she was you know I'd already told her that she could spend it on whatever she wanted and she wanted to go Christmas shopping for her family to buy them to buy us all something for Christmas with her birthday money and so um my mom took her and I told her to just take her to the Dollar Tree because I really didn't you know I don't want to turn her into a selfish person and her think that everything has to be about her. But on the other hand, I'm thinking, this is your birthday money to spend for yourself. But this is what makes her happy. And, you know, and she likes to see other people happy. And I don't want to take that spirit out of her. Um, so, you know, I just let her know I didn't want her buying more than two things for a person. And that, um... You know that she could take her time and shop as long as she wanted to and I just thought it was really sweet so that that really touches me that you know she's that kind of person it makes you feel good as a parent to know that you're raising a giving child and not a stingy child and she's always been very appreciative of whatever she's gotten or been given um, she's also understanding of the things that we can't give to her. So, I'm just, I'm very thankful for that. Um, my oldest daughter, she, she and my youngest are both very, um, goal-driven in school. Um, they're straight-A students. They're that way on their own. I never have to tell them to do their homework. They just, they just do. They do their projects. They're not procrastinators. My son, he's like me. He's a definite procrastinator. Um, he's very smart. He just doesn't want to put in the time, the extra time at school, which, you know, his grades are still decent. Um, he could definitely do better if he would actually... It's not a score, test score issue. His is just like more of a project issue, things that he doesn't want to do. Um, but I understand that because I was the same way. 
but I expect more out of him. Um, I guess my mom expected more out of me too. She just didn't get it. But anyway, um, I feel like I'm rambling. But anyway, I'm just thankful for all of my children. Um, my third child. She's the one with Asperger's, uh, which is in the autism spectrum. Um, she's just a blessing on her own. You can't help but love her, and everybody that meets her just loves her. Um, I still have teachers that she's had over the years that contact me to keep up with her, um, to see how she's doing. I send them pictures of different things. And she, too, she's a very intelligent child. Um, now, she does not enjoy schoolwork. But that being said, she's very, very smart. And she soaks it all in. Um, but she just does not like the writing and the test taking and things like that that go along with it. But um, she's very creative. She definitely has the ability to think outside the box. She had decided that we needed a chimney and told her we didn't have one. And so she went to her room and she came back like 10, 15 minutes later. She had built a chimney um, out of her mega blocks and it was all hollow inside and put Christmas lights inside of it that were battery powered and turned it on so the lights up inside. And I mean, she just, she's so amazing to watch. Um, I feel like she's going to do something with architecture or something when she grows up. But she doesn't like crowds. She doesn't like loud noises. She doesn't like singing. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't mind like the radio, but she doesn't want to hear anyone sing in person. Um, but I'm just blessed. I'm blessed to have four healthy children. I am blessed that they're good kids. Um, I see so many that, especially by the time the, my oldest, he's almost 17, by the time they get to be that age, they're having a lot of things to have, they're having to deal with, and I'm very, very blessed that we do not have that problem. Um, it's, sometimes you just have to take a step back and really look at all the positives because some days you focus on the negatives and it's like oh you know kids stress me out and this and that and the other but if you really take a moment and you step back and it's like you realize just how blessed you are and I'm very thankful I'm very thankful for my family I'm thankful for my husband who you know he's always been a great father to our kids and you know he's he takes care of his family he um, does whatever he needs to do to make sure that we have everything that we need and most all of what everybody wants it might take a little bit of time to get it but you know if it's something doable then we definitely make it happen at some point so anyway this video is probably more for myself than anybody else. Um, this seems to be a, a thoughts and feelings kind of vlog. So I doubt most of you are still with me, but it's okay. Um, like I said, this is probably more for me. Just for those days that you might not be so perked up. And go back and watch this and remind yourself of all the things to be thankful for. So... Anyway, hope everybody's having a great and wonderful day, and um, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.